are back with today's food. It's cooling down outside. It doesn't mean you can't heat things up in the kitchen. Padma Lakshmi is here to show you how. Got a brand new book today. It is the Encyclopedia of Spices and Herbs. Padma, congrats on the book. Good to Thank have you, you here. It's Thank great for you. me because I don't get spices and herbs. I never know which to put with which food. Well, that's why I wrote this book. Spices can be really intimidating, and I always wanted a book like this, just an A to Z reference guide that was straightforward. And I think spices do intimidate a lot of people, but if you add just one or two spices to your diet, it's healthy, it's delicious. You can revolutionize your cooking. And that's, you know, people always ask me, how do I stay so slim eating all that food on Top Chef? Right. A lot of it has to do with the spices because they really do you know, they raise your metabolism, they can, they add flavor without adding a lot of fat and calories. The book covers all kinds of spices and herbs. Mm -hmm. We're concentrating on curry today. Let's yes. take a look at the, we're making scallops. We're making Simple scallops. Simple ingredient panel. Um, if you are intimidated by spices, I recommend a spice blend. Today we're using curry powder. Now these are all the ingredients here that we're going to need um, to make our dish today. Just scallops, butter, salt and pepper, garlic, and curry powder. Here you can see all of the ingredients in curry powder. Compound butter is just a seasoned butter. It's a great way to introduce spices in a, not, in a very approachable way. Kind of infuses whatever mm -hmm. food you're cooking in so it. So right. here we're, we've cubed up some room temperature butter that we've just left on the counter to melt with some curry powder. We're using salt, pepper, and garlic. I want you to mash this up. Okay. And by the way, you know, curry doesn't mean spicy. A lot of people think that, but it really doesn't mean spicy at all. Use a mild curry powder. You can get it at any grocery store. You just want to mix that up. You're going to put it in a ramekin like this and just keep it in the fridge under saran wrap. You can also make a log with it if you want. Will it last Fancy for a while? Log. Yes, it'll last for a long time. So okay. here, you see, we're just putting this in here. You want to let that melt. I have turned it down. Let me turn it up a little. And then here, here you go. I want you to let that melt and then okay. put the scallops in here. All right, so okay. really pretend it's melted a little more than it has, all right? It'll melt in two seconds. Now, wow, smell that. It smells great. And if you, you know, if you, if you wanted to do a Mediterranean version of this, all you would do is swap out the um, curry powder for herbs of Provence. Herbs de Provence is a melange from the south of France that you can use um, in all your cooking. And really, don't crowd the pan. You want to make sure you don't, so it caramelizes. Caramelization is when you get that beautiful brown roasted part. We're going right. to turn that up. While this you is cooking this. down, I'll watch this. You're going to actually heat some of your spices. Yes, I'm going to teach you how to toast whole spices because that wakes up all the oils in your cooking. You want to get a hot, dry pan. You don't need any fat. And you're just going to add cardamom, cloves, and star anise. When you add cardamom, you want to break the pods and get the dark seeds out. While you do that, let's look downstairs because we've got the guys downstairs tasting away. Oh, don't, how is it? Hoda finished hers already. I'm done. Yeah. It's sad. I finished. Oh, but don't great. eat the star anise, right? That is, and it's so beautiful. Star anise is great to use yeah. in soups and stocks. And now all I'm doing is throwing these dry whole herbs into this pan, which has just some shallots and ginger and chilies. That's it, just three ingredients here cooking. Those are gonna be done in a minute. Right. But they take about three or four minutes. Okay. And to this, I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit more. If you have leftover rice, all you can, all you have to do is add it to this pan. And there are lots of companies that have frozen rice, but you just stir this and you're done. And Look Matt, let's looks. have you taste All this right. very Guys, quickly. what do you think? Oh, yeah, ten. Yummy. Ten. Thank you, Padma. You can taste as good as it smells. Literally mm. ten minutes for your family. You can check Thank out you. the recipe oh. online. We're back. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.